Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I say, somebody look at your neighbor. Say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself. And say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Oh, we're gonna jump right into it. Because that's how we do it over here. People been asking me about Rihanna. I said, can you talk about Rihanna? What's going on with Rihanna? I said, she done lost her cousin a day after Christmas. So I want to talk about this a little bit tonight. Now, we already know what the fucker is up. And if you don't know, you gon' know. Ugh. And what I want you to understand something that the powers that be already know is... The powers that be know it don't matter how much money that they give these celebrities for blood sacrificing one of their family members. Guess what they know? They know that the pain will always be haunting them for the rest of their life. Okay? The pain will always be haunting them like a, a bad dream that won't ever end. The powers that be know that these celebrities going to spend more money to buy gadgets and other things just to keep their mind off of what they just did. They're going to spend more money to buy more things. Okay? And what happens when you, you spend money? You got to make some more of it. I done spent all of this. Now I got to make some more money. And the way that they can make more money is they got to make another blood sacrifice. I got to kill somebody to get some more motherfucking money. That's how this shit work. I said, I'm, I feel like teaching tonight. Okay? I don't give a shitter what nobody say about me. I'd rather go through the front door and make my money. I say I'd rather go through the front door and make my money. Because when you go through the back door, it's always a trap set up for that ass. It's always a trap set up that you don't know about. Catch that on fleek. I say catch that on fleek. The more bodies you give, the more you get. And you better understand they love a cheerful motherfucking giver. What is a cheerful giver? Somebody say, what is a cheerful giver? They love the ones who gonna make that blood sacrifice with no motherfucking questions asked. Okay? They love the ones who just say, yes, what I gotta do? Where he gotta be at? What color he gotta, what color he gotta have on? Okay, what, what hat he gotta have on? I'm trying to show y'all how this shit work. Huh, you must understand Hollywood is set up like a chess game. It's set up just like a chess game on these celebrities. And the winners going to always be the powers that be. Why they going to always win? Because as soon as you sign your signature, they already got you. As soon as you sign that contract, they already done get your ass. Because these folks don't really know how to read these contracts. They get a lawyer. A lawyer ain't shit but a liar. And he work for the powers that be. So he going to tell you what he think you should motherfucking know. And if you go get a lawyer, oh, well, this my family member. They ain't going to lie to me. I said, if you get a lawyer that you think you can trust, he or whoever she is, they ain't going to overstand the contract. Is is a contract that's written in a secret code. Okay? Once the celebrity signed that contract, they signed down to the secret of the blood sacrifice in that contract. It's deeper than what you know. I said it's much more motherfucking deeper than that. But I got to stay on topic to fuck a night. Come on, let's go higher. I say, come on, let's go motherfucker higher. Rihanna say, Rihanna say, I'm going home this fucker Christmas. She said, I got some shitter I got to do. And you better. I said, you better know. She knew exactly what was going to happen when she took her ass home for fucker Christmas. Merry Christmas, ho, ho, motherfucking ho. You know Rihanna hooked her family up this Christmas. She said, shit, I got to make this blood sacrifice. I got to get them something good this Christmas. <laughs> Motherfuckers got gold chains and everything around their neck when you look at the pictures. I said, I want to teach this tonight. They say Rihanna's cousin was shot and killed. We jumps right into it. They say Rihanna's cousin was shot and killed a day after Christmas. This took place a day after Christmas. In Tuesday, she posted about the cousin that she had sacrificed. Yeah, I said that. I said it right. The cousin that she sacrificed. What did she say? She said, rest in peace, cousin. She said, I can't believe it. We was just together last night. Okay. She said, I just held you in my arms last night. 
She said, I ain't never thought that this would be the last time, you know what I'm saying, that I felt the warmth of your body. And then she said, love you always. Rest in peace. What word did you see? I said, what word did you see? She said, she said, she can't believe. You see the word that's in that word, believe? You see the word what? Lie. And I'm going to show you, she doing exactly that. Lying her motherfucking ass off. Her cousin was already marked to be sacrificed at a time such as this. He was already marked. When they sacrifice these folks, it's a message that they, they want us to uh put together. Okay? They want us to put together this message through the people that they sacrifice. I'm going somewhere with this tonight. Y'all better hold on tight. I said, because I am taking off like a roller coaster and I'm going somewhere with this shitter tonight. They say Rihanna's cousin, Tavon, he was just 21 years of age. And he was shot seven times by an unidentified motherfucking man. Now I want to show you how these fuckers work. I said, I want to show you how these powder face fuckers work. Seven times what number give you 21? I said seven times what number give you 21? There go that three again. Seven times three equal 20 fucking one. We going somewhere. But you see how these slick motherfuckers tried to throw it in there. They want you to times it this time. So we seeing that number three I already come to fuck up. They trying to show us a message through this shit. And I'm going to tell y'all the message tonight. Rihanna's cousin Tavon, he died on December 26, 2017. Come on and let's do it. Two plus six plus two plus one plus seven equal what? 18. One plus eight equal what? Nine. Flip the nine and you get the what? The six. We already seeing the what? The three and the six come up in his death. How old was her cousin? He was 21 years of age. Two plus one equal what? Three. We keep seeing this motherfucking three and this six come up and these folks is death. Somebody say why? I done told you why. Because it's a blood fucker sacrifice. Come on, let's go deeper. I said, come on, let's go deeper. I feel like going deeper tonight. I go higher, but I want to go deeper tonight. What is Rihanna's cousin name? His name is Tavon Kaseen Alin. All in. Okay. When you hear his name, it kind of sound like a, a Muslim or Islamic name. You know, one of them Muslimic names and shit. I said, I'm going somewhere with this tonight. I promise you. I want you to look at this picture of Rihanna and her cousin, the one that was killed. I got a specific picture that I want you to look into with your eyes wide open. I got the picture right here. You see the word amazing on his shirt. It was supposed to say amazing, but they cut the A off. Now I want you to flip the word amazing around and you get the word Nizam. Okay, you get the word Nizam. What does the word Nizam mean? Well, I'm going to show you tonight. Nizam is a political party in Bangladesh. So we see that this is a political party who is connected to the, Mis the uh, Muslim League. They connected to the fucking Muslims. Rihanna cousin Tavon was shot on the St. Michael's fucker Island. So what is so so mad I'm saying to you tonight? Who is St. Michael? Who is St. Michael? St. Michael represents the fighting angel for what? The good. What we know as being good and evil. He represents the good. So what is the message that they trying to tell us? I said, what is the message that they want us to understand? When I showed you the word Nizam on Rihanna's cousin's shirt, that represents the Muslims that's ready to kill us and not give a fucker. I said, the ones that's ready to kill us and not give a damn. Because they ready to go see Allah. The archangel represents you and me. The ones who going to fight back and defend themselves when these motherfuckers try to come and fuck with us. The message is get ready. I said the message is get ready for the motherfucking war. Get ready for Armageddon. These Muslims is going to turn it up. 
And guess what? Us niggas is gonna what? We gonna have to protect the motherfucking throne. Cause it's going down. And who gonna be in charge of setting up this motherfucking war? I said, who gonna be in charge of setting up this war? What's Rihanna's cousin last name? His last name is all Ein. What word do you see in his last name? All I. Put it together. The all seeing motherfucking I. They sit high and these motherfuckers what? They look low on who the fuck they gonna devour next. Who the fuck they gonna kill next. The plan is on. I said the war is motherfucking on. They just throw it in our face like a fucking puzzle. And they want you to figure it out. Connect this dot. Connect that motherfucking dot. They already turning it up. Y'all motherfuckers better get ready. <laughs> Y'all already be here. I already done prophesied the shit in this coming to fuck a pass. I'm trying to tell y'all, get fucker ready. Because it's going to happen. Folks want to sit back. Oh, poor Rihanna. Poor Rihanna. Poor Rihanna, my fucker ass. I said poor, poor Rihanna, my ass. I already know. So you think to yourself, did she know about this motherfucking sacrifice or not? Did it just happen out of nowhere? This shit don't just happen out of nowhere. The message is that these Muslims is motherfucking trying to come for our asses. And the goddamn powers that be, they going to set up some shit. And it's going to be a lot of people that is going to lose their motherfucking lives. So a lot of people sit back. Oh, this shit ain't real. This shit ain't real until the shit happened. And then these motherfuckers fucked up. Oh, I should have listened. Oh, I guess you should have motherfucking listened. Whew.